just recently in Richmond, California, a young girl was raped brutally by six young men. The most pitiful part of this act is at least 40 people walked by before anybody called 911 to say there was a naked girl stretched out on the ground. Somebody should have intervened and did something. Something should have been done. Someone should have called the police. Somebody should have picked up a rock or a stick or even a brick and hit these guys. Something should have been done. People are faced with situations. These situations are fever pitched and intense and sometimes life or death. I remember situations I've been in. I've jumped in front of cars and put my arms out to save kids and I've dialed 911. I've intervened before. And I've sat back and watched idly by for somebody to do something before also. When you grow up and you go through life and you're faced with a situation, can you and will you do what you have to do to survive? When faced with life and death, as a human being, we all must do what it takes to guarantee the survival of our being. In other words, with faith with a life or death situation, think as the criminal would. It's either you or me. And most of the times when there's a criminal or some mad and enraged person, it's not going to be them if you sit back and wait idly by for somebody to help you. Some people hide and and find themselves burning. Burning under a bed. Quivering at the the barrel of a gun. When faced with life or death situations, the best way to defend yourself is by guaranteeing that you do not lose your life and if you have to take one's life to guarantee your own what would the criminal do to guarantee he's not caught would he let you live would he just let you it's okay Somebody once said, it's better him than me. My father said that. When faced with survival, your survival supersedes any survival. Someone has to make it out. And if you wait for someone to save you, then you may wait a long time. You can call the police and have to wait 10 minutes, 15 minutes. In my buddy's case, 36 hours for the police to come help you. What happens if it's life or death? Do you let yourself die for the overall justice of the overall law that no man should take another man's life? Nobody needs to die. No man needs die. But if somebody's going to kill me, I have to take his life before he takes mine, before he takes my child, before he takes my wife before she kills my son, before she kills my wife, before she kills me. If faced 
looking right down the barrel you must survive do what you have to do to survive everything in your power to survive in today's day and age we have people willing to run in your house like the clockwork orange want to treat you like they did that man in the movie law-abiding citizen justice works both ways defend yourself with your life but do not let no one take your life you must understand that you as an individual are the most important thing to life itself your existence as a decent person supersedes anything so what is life whose life is it if you sit back and wait for somebody to kill you you will eventually die if someone is walking towards you with a big ass knife like in a horror movie do you run and get stabbed in the back like in a horror movie or do you pick up a chair and fight for your life and when you knock down the villain the creature of the bad guy do you walk away and let him get up and bust you in the back grab you on the leg no when faced with life or death you defend yourself by making sure that person cannot get up and stab you cannot get up and hurt you break both their legs break both their arms cut both their hands off and both their feet off do what you gotta do to stop this person from killing you and if you have to push the button if you have to take it to the next level remember this what person will put themselves in position to be killed burglar crook a robber a desperate person in desperate times and since times are so desperate you must defend your life by all means necessary because those who are willing to willy-nilly frivolously walk through life and thinking they can rape murder and pillage and plunder at will in the civilized society must understand their uncivilized acts at one uncivilized consequence the life we live is day to day it's the only life we have that we know of but until we find out if there is another life you better fight as hard as you can to stay alive in this one by all means necessary no man need die no people need be terrorized because if an eye for an eye was the law then it should be the law people should be able to defend themselves by all means to the end because if somebody's willing to take you out you have to be able and willing to take them out.